All right, so at this point, I still have only seen the first season. I planned on watching the second season in the build-up to this week, but it, I just had so much stuff going on. I've been trying to catch up on a lot of editing and filming that I've been behind on. I've got a lot of my filming caught up to date. Editing-wise, I'm getting there. That's the hard part. But for now, we have episode 5 of X-Men 97. I'm loving this show so far. I think it's been absolutely fantastic. And as somebody who hasn't seen the entire animated series, the original one, that is, it's not hindering my experience at all. Sure, I'm void on a couple of things. I don't know everything that's happening. I don't know this and that character, but it doesn't really matter to me. Like I said, it's not affecting my, my viewing experience in any way. If anything, it's just shrouding it in a little more mystery. And I actually kind of like that because as I go back and watch the original show, I'll be like, oh, okay, so that's why that happened and that and that's who's that. But in regards to last week's episode, I thought it was fun. I thought the first half was fun. And then the second half really works for me. I guess you could consider the first half of last week's episode filler. I know a lot of people were calling it filler, but everything with Forge and Storm I think was done pretty well it felt a little bit rushed but I liked what they were trying to do and what took her at the end the, the big bird thing that's probably somebody that appeared in the animated series and I have all the comments yelling at me right now if you watch the show you would know but I don't care they'll probably explain it anyway and then once I watch the original show I'll know who it was. But I'm excited to see where they expand from there. Before we get started though, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications. Whatever you guys want to do to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see the full length version of this reaction or any other reaction that I have up on the channel, as well as early access, I said reactions, you'll find them right here on YouTube on my membership page. So if you guys could check those out as well, I would greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, I'm super excited. So let's go. Previously on X-Men. <laughs> Is that Gambit? It's a techno organic virus strain. And the virus is already spreading rapidly. Yeah, so like I said, I now know that he's Cable. Makes sense. Take care, Jean. Call me Madeline Pryor. Uh, so I assume she comes back. That this is a shared world, and that my kind have the right to live in it. That scene was so cool. Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? Hmm. See, dude, this intro got my foot tapping and everything. It's so good. Can't skip it. Is that Apocalypse? And that was Cable. Was it Apocalypse? I don't know. It was so brief and I wasn't really paying attention. That's new too. Ah, uh, Nightcrawler. This show's so cool. All over the planet, they are known as mutants. We prefer to see it as a world that misunderstands. <laughs> Not like regular boring classes. More hands-on learning, you know? But with big death machines and vampire dinosaurs. Yeah, I'm sure she gets it. People who have fallen through the cracks. Forgotten. Desperate to belong. Man, this reporter sure got a lot of footage. A lot of intimate footage, should I say. This is taken forever. Please remember that should the new Blackbird suffer a malfunction, you are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <sighs> Damn it, you roosters. You roosters. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Hmm. I'm sure there's so many Easter eggs. Just different mutants in general. My friends. Well, would you look at you, girl. A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brands. Hmm, okay. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Spare a gene. The interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> <laughs> I love his design in this. Everything around us would not have been possible without the work of the X-Men. Oh man, it's just like he said it'd be. Who? The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm, yeah, sure, professor. A home. Daddy's charging pretty high rent. Ten dollars for an apple. Ignore him. So I can't help but ruin honey. Or maybe Gambit's willing to ask questions no one else will. <laughs> Why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? It's a good question. I mean, they all love him because he's like the main reason that they're all here, right? Didn't go ringing for no priest. It does not take a priest to see you and Volk's souls touch in every gaze. <laughs> <sighs> Ain't the touch she be looking for. Hmm. Just marry Isabel and be done. It's not that easy. Scott, are you surprised to see such a bold move in world politics? Well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby, it's to expect the unexpected. I always kept that in mind as field leader. Hey, uh, O'Shea's the winner. I was going to say, it keeps... Kick him off. I 
can't. No, he can't. Trust me, you don't want him to take them off. Marvel girl, I hear you're the X Men's power couple, a love that spans galaxies. Did she say Marvel girl? It's a name I'm unfamiliar with. Like referring to Jean, I mean. Like I've never heard Jean be called Marvel girl. The two lovebirds still ain't talking. He's grieving his son. We were in Nevada. I had just acquired the power of a cosmic entity. I asked Scott to go on a picnic at sunset. She seemed nervous when I asked her to go out. I like when they do this in shows. Cut back and forth because they're basically saying the same thing. You forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. No. Oh. He likes that, but Scott's not going to. I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Now go talk to that overgrown boy scout. Just being a good sport about it, though. Jean and I don't have any kids. You don't? No. Strange. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born to Scott and Jean Grey Summers. I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. People. Normal. And you lie. Why lie? Because you're normal. <laughs> we fight, risk our lives for you. I gave him up. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Huh. He's been bottling that up for a little bit. Unprecedented fashion for our kind. Who's this colonial? This concerns me and my ex-men. How? We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. A poster child. Emma Frost. Don't go fill in this man's head with such notions. Whose charitable idea was it to let a human be on the council? If any of these characters were in season one, I'm not remembering. Like this guy? We were at a bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. I laughed at him. Was he sentimental or suicidal? Both were in an early grave. What a line. You shall have me on one condition. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? Huh. It is a political calculation, Rogue. Me, mutant kind's fiercest defender. Gambit is not going to be happy. Less happy than he already is. I won't deny my passion for you. As with Gambit, loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. We would be lucky to have you. Mm. I can't believe I lost it like that. Oh, Scott. Anger is normal, even for mutants. Yeah, you did lose it. Like I said, he's been bottling that up for a while. I see him. Everywhere. It reminds me of... Of us. <sighs> Don't tell me! You can explain! Huh? If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Something wrong, Miss Pryor? What? Sorry. Mine just drifted a moment. Mine drift indeed. Huh. I know what I saw. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? Uh... A month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we ended Go. up... Uh, checking in. Be with my clone. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do you love her? I... Love both of you. Yeah, I was gonna say, they were getting along a little too much. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? Jean! What is it? The hell? <laughs> Looks so different with his hair slicked back. You best sit down. And when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his demons and, and mine. Eric said he wouldn't want me to lose. Mm, just throwing his cards in the fire. You gonna accept his offer? I oh, pulled up the queen card. That was good. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. Something's a bit deeper than skin, Cher. Not this. I wager that fool will break your heart in two. Till then, we be friends, more than me. Hmm. He took that better than I was expecting him to. Did I just see the Watcher in the sky? Or am I tripping? I saw, like, the head and then, like, the thing that comes up, or, like, around the back of his neck and it, like, looked like it was covering the side of his face. I I might be crazy, but 
it looked like it. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. <laughs> You're accepted only on the condition that we ask one of the X-Men to govern with him. Rogue. What did she say? She said yes. Is this where Gambit freaks out? Because they touch? Yeah, that's rough. Come on, you know he's watching from somewhere. That's why she was hesitant. Turn it off. The music. What is it? Mario. Huh. But Remy was right. So is her deeper than skin. Turn it off. The music. Huh, is that why she's getting flashes? Or both of them? Because Nathan's back? Have to get everyone out! Now! He's coming! Who's coming? Cable, what's going on? Body slide. One. No, no! Your eyes. You made it. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? What the hell? Was this Cable's doing or somebody else? What a tarnation. Oh. Roll! Get to the gardens! Hurry! Oh, they're like dead. Master mold. That was sweet. This escalated very quickly. Gambit, how many? Too many. Some vile Godzilla sends them. You go at it, you end up dead. Can't even dent it. Oh shit. Hurry! Almost to the gardens! Yo, never much cared for roulette. Then how about we spice up them rules? That's a lot of sentinels. This is so cool. Uh. He's not going to be happy about that, knocking the Charles statue over. They mm. shall be avenged! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> Just whipping him with a train. Use it, located. Bonsoir, mes amis. <laughs> Gambit's so cool. And he is getting f***ed up. Omega Threat Detected. Yo. Dude, the animators cooked with this episode. It looks so good. Hub kinda axed. Mega threat eliminated. No way. What? Dude, this is crazy. The cars always be in my favor. This is so wild. Oh shit. It's gonna get reversed somehow, right? With cable? Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gambit, on a me. Huh, I didn't even think about that. Remember it. That was insane. That was crazy. How many, damn it? Yeah, a lot are dead. Regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh my. the images you are about to see may be disturbing. There's no way they killed Magneto, right? There's just no way. <laughs> or Remy. There's no way. I, I can't feel you. <sighs> That's the best episode. That's so good. I'm actually like shocked. I don't know what's gonna happen. First off, there's no way they killed Magneto and Gambit. There's just no way. Something's gonna happen with Cable. 
Something's gonna happen with time travel. There's just no way. Nah, dude, this episode was so f***ing cool. Getting to see Kurt Nightcrawler show up finally was cool. I was anticipating his uh, arrival in this show because I think there was one trailer where they showed like a frame of him. And I didn't really think that he was going to be in this. I know that he shows up later on in the animated series from the 90s, but I'm not at that point yet. Like I said, I've only seen season one. But I really liked his design in this. Getting to see Genosha was really cool. Makes a lot of sense that Madeline Pryor is now living in Genosha. I mean, I couldn't really see her going anywhere else. But I really like this whole conflict with Jean and Cyclops and the the merging of minds between her and Madeline Pryor that seems like what's happening like it seems like their minds are merging back together but I really don't know what's going on obviously something's happening with that I don't know if that had to do with Cable being here like Nathan showing up in present day for them but it's looking like Gene and Scott aren't gonna last relationship wise I mean they don't have Nathan anymore. Their love doesn't seem to be the same as it once was. I mean, obviously that's the case. She ha she seems to have feelings for Wolverine. Obviously she kissed him, she was blushing, and then whenever Wolverine turned her down, he she looked kind of disappointed. So I wonder how things are gonna go with that. I also really like the whole thing with Gambit, Rogue, and uh, Magneto. The love triangle things are working really well. Another show that I'm watching right now is Legend of Korra. That has a ton of love triangles in it. But they're working it in really well in this. In Legend of Korra, it's more kind of used as like a joke kind of thing. In this, it's a lot more serious. It's very mature. But out of nowhere, they're just partying. And then Nathan shows up and he's like... I'm sorry. And then he just disappears. Probably goes back to the future. And then Master Mold attacks. I assume that was Master Mold. I mean, it was another Master Mold-like sentinel that can create other sentinels inside. It's kind of like a big factory that moves. But we seem to lose a lot of mutants. So I'm assuming that Cable comes back into play. I mean, he has to. There's no way that, that uh, Remy is dead. There's no way that Magneto is dead. Leech is dead. Callisto seems to be dead. I mean, her pupils dilated. I don't know if she was dead. There were a lot of other dead mutants. And I wasn't thinking about this until now. I assumed that Madeline was taken out in that explosion too. Because I don't think we see her after she says sorry for what. And then the explosion happens and they don't cut back to her. So I assume that she got taken out or maybe she protected herself. I have no idea. But I was not expecting it to get as crazy as it did. Like these action sequences this episode... Best of the series so far. The animators absolutely cooked, dude. Like, more of this, please. What I would really like them to do with the Disney Plus Marvel shows is just do more animated stuff like this. Save all of the live-action MCU 616 universe content for the big screen. You can do special presentations, a couple of shows here and there, maybe like one or two live action shows a year. Like what they're doing this year, I think is pretty smart. We're getting three animated shows this year. We, get, we have this, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, and then we have that Eyes of Wakanda series. And then the only two shows that we had, we had Echo, which was like on the back burner. That was, had a lot of problems. And then we have Agatha, which I'm not really looking forward to. Maybe a trailer will change my mind. But all of the animated stuff has my attention. And if it's the same kind of quality as this, dude. They're cooking. But Magneto's supposed death sets Rogue off, and then she tries to go after Master Mold or the Big Sentinel. Remy stops her. He gets killed, or seemingly gets killed, because she was touching him at the end, and he looked dead. And then we're just ending it there. Like, dude. Whoa. This episode was absolutely fantastic. I am so thoroughly impressed with this show you know not knowing anything about the animated show going into this uh you know having vague details shared with me about the animated show and just the x-men in general like i said in one of my previous reactions i only really know the fox movies comic lore wise i really know nothing about the x-men i know a lot more about like the avengers spider-man that side of the marvel universe i really don't know all that much about x-men so this kind of being my on-ramp for more extended lore into x-men it's working for me it's really working and i know a lot of people are mad at me for not watching the whole series the animated series that is before this and not doing my due diligence to catch up before this i get it but it's working for me. Not knowing anything about the animated series besides what I've seen in season one and not having the full context of that story, it's still working. But man, Genosha got up. So what is going to happen? Like, 
I'm honestly just blown away by this episode. This was so good. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications, whatever you guys want to do to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see the full length version of this reaction or any other reaction that I have up on the channel, as well as early access to said reactions, you'll find them right here on YouTube on my membership page. So if you guys could check those out as well, I would greatly appreciate it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next one.